Oh, yes. hang on. Great British Bake Off. Truly one of the greatest television oh. programmes. Yes. I can't tell you how apoplectic with joy I am to be this close to Mel, because I watch it, don't get frightened. No, I love it. <laughs> awesome, I in love my it. hands. Shall I, shall I pick up? Angel <laughs> talking. <laughs> Ease yourself back, John. There's something, there's something delightful about watching people sweating over making a cake while you're eating Angel Delight in your pants. There's just something yeah, really... <laughs> See, here's the thing, I really like the show, but I think cake is for people who don't drink to feel like they've had fun in their life. <laughs> what are That's you minute. saying? Yeah. Right. People John. who drink, when they go, I was a bit naughty this weekend, you go, what happened? Well, I ended up puking, I shit myself on my doorstep. <laughs> The people who don't drink, they go, I was a bit naughty this weekend. They go, well, what did you do? They went, well, I had a chocolate fudge cake. <laughs> I watch it, I like it. Do you, Sean? I do like it. Well, I like it. It's like Midsummer Murders, but no-one gets killed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a warm, warm, summery <laughs> feeling, but there's no, un, you know, unnecessary killing of anyone. Have you thought of introducing maybe a murder, murder mystery element to the show? That would be very, like, very If you don't good. win, you get killed. Yeah. <laughs> I can see Beza uh, committing some murders. So are you Who? like Be Beza? Beza? I probably shouldn't have said that. Mary Berry. <laughs> she, she's lovely. I'd like to see her lose her sh once in a while. Do you know what I mean? You'd like to see Mary Berry go a bit Gordon Ramsay on one of them. Just stuff, <laughs> shove your macaroons up your f arse. <laughs> she's actually a lot younger than she's not younger than she looks, but her face is aged from opening the oven all the time. <laughs> dried out all her skin. <laughs> Skin. She's about 30. Yeah. She is about the ovens. Ah, there we go. It does have a, a great male sex symbol. Who, who's the male sex symbol? Paul Hollywood. Carol, uh, do you fancy him? Well, he came on Loose Women and I nibbled on his brioche. Did you? <laughs> well, no wonder he came. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this Hollywood character. Here he is. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The most fun thing I've ever done in all of my life, seriously, was to steal Paul Hollywood's car and drive it half a mile away so that he thought that it was uh, stolen. You didn't? Yeah. He's got a posh car, hasn't he? He's got... It, his, po his car is so posh, you don't actually put a key in, you put a crystal... Uh, into oh, a thing. It's a so, Superman's car. What <laughs> is that? It's a rock of crystal. Well, actually, it's not a rock. It's just a rectangle of crystal. Should be a wooden spoon, really, shouldn't it? <laughs> you put the crystal in, and then the, this is absolutely true. In Hollywood's car, the Bond theme tune kicks in <laughs> as soon as it starts. You can't have the Bond music banging out and step out of your car, and people go, "What do you do? I eat muffins." <laughs> <laughs> Emotional and tense. Yeah. In the program, Pe it can get. It's like Dallas or something. It's really yeah. tense. People's and... lives are invested yeah, in, in the their sponge. Yeah. Me and Sue, Sue and I, I should say, grammatically correct. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we, <laughs> with them, invest our very selves. Yeah. Into the Battenberg slash quiche. Oh, slash the Union whatever. Jack Battenberg. That was amazing. Phenomenal. I would never expect John Richardson to just go, oh, the Union Jack button. <laughs> <laughs> no. It doesn't seem that right wing, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Coming over here with your That's syllabub sense. and your bloody oh, pistachio no. ice cream coffee nonsense. I like a Battenberg cake shaped like a flag. Now piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can tell you, the Great British Bake Off didn't make the top three. It was actually fifth. Great British Bake Off features more yeast than any other show on British television, except Embarrassing Bodies does Cavos. <laughs> Sean, what do you think of the nation's favourite TV shows? Oh, it's it's uh, oh, the uh, David Attenborough's shows. <gasps> oh, yeah. They're incredible programmes, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, they're very good. He's, he's run out, really, though. He'll end up just now looking under dustbins at Woodlice. He's <laughs> 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 done everything else. <laughs> famous scene of that, it was the, the giraffes fighting. Did we all see the giraffes? Necking. Yeah, in my head, that's how supermodels fight. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the one with the uh, the birds? I think they were called shoebill birds. Oh, God, it was Did, awful. That was the, and the mum, it was like Sophie's Choice. What she, she had to... Oh. The mum had to chew... I can't, I'm actually... Go on. I'm telling her. Go on, go on. I'm Thomas. actually willing... The, sh the shoebill mum had to chew... Oh, she was horrible. Chew. What did she, she have to chew? 
She had to John, choose. John, comfort her, for God's <laughs> sake! What does it mean? She had to choose between her two chicks which one to save. Which, which, which one did... <laughs> <laughs> which one did she say? <laughs> She, oh, she, she chose the stronger one. She didn't even choose the weaker one. She's a good mum. <laughs> That's what they would do, a good mum. Bad yeah. mum and gone, oh, I'll have the weaker she, one. No, she knew that the race of shoe bill would continue if she went for the stronger one rather than... Mm. Oh. And also, she has no feelings. Of life. She's got a tiny <laughs> brain. She's got a tiny brain and no feelings. So it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> the look in her eye. She knew what she was doing. No, she didn't. <laughs> She's she a, her brain's probably about no, that big. No. Her eye, the weird thing about them is their eyelids, I seem to remember, flick round to the side. And she came into the camera and the eye went like that and flick round as if to say, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrendous. <sighs> Did they by any chance put some emotional swelling music underneath it to make you feel like she was making an yes. emotional choice? Because yes, they have to drown out the sound of Attenborough behind the camera going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll finish it off. You take the other one. <laughs> it would be. I've got a shovel way. here. Okay. I'll sort it out. <laughs> yeah. I've got... Don't worry, you fly off. <laughs> it's like sandwich spread by the time he's finished. <laughs> and again, going, no. stop now! <laughs> I bet it's Top Gear, innit? Yep. People <gasps> like... Oh, yep. Yes, of course. It'll be those three... Yep. They're basically the twat in the pub, and then one day three pubs all closed and they had to go in the car park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one of them filmed it on their mobile and it just it's became... It's genius! A... Top Gear, I used to oh. watch when I was a teenage girl and that is exactly why I'm a lesbian. <laughs> Put then... me off men for life, that programme did. Then I'm a lesbian too. Yes, <laughs> we're all lesbians tonight, John. Yeah. Male? And me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have to shout because what they're saying is, though, you know in films, the most exciting lines, they whisper. So, like, if you've got a really good script, oh, you yes. just have to go, if you'd come round here again giving it that, I'm going to cut your head off. Right? <laughs> but they have to shout because if you just said, this is the new Ford Fiesta 1.2 diesel, no one would watch it and go, this is the new 1.2! And you're watching it, this is amazing. And then if you watched it written down, you think, oh, you just showed me a car. <laughs> You've been on the show. I love Top Gear. I love anything to do with engines. But there are a lot of people in the world who are emotionally attached to their vehicles. I love starring a reasonably priced car. I think that's a really good feature. Yeah. I watched that repeatedly when Helen Mirren was on. That was absolutely fantastic. Not enough crashes. <laughs> I don't like the way that Jeremy Clarkson ends every sentence like that. <laughs> <laughs> every sentence on the show, he ends with a thing at the end. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> that's how people from Doncaster talk. He's from Doncaster, and if you go to Doncaster, that's how they. Yeah, welcome no, to Doncaster. Is he? That's the Doncaster accent, or oh, that, or he's a bullshit charlatan without a personality. He's a bullshitting <laughs> charlatan without a personality. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know his cock's made of denim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're living Clarkson our time. Let's remember, there are three dicks. There are. Richard Hammond, his appearance is phenomenal. He looks like he's getting groomed on the internet by Noel Edmonds. <laughs> 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 